Good evening and welcome to Nana's Cook and Craft Corner. I thought I was been talking about this for a few days and I've been on for a few days, but um, I was talking about before using my gel plate. I had an 11 by 14, wait, I gotta think of it, 14, yeah, 11 by 14 gel plate. And somebody was kind enough to send me an eight by 10 and I did a video on it because I refused to, I wanted to thank the person that sent me this gel plate before I came on and did a live stream using it or my other gel plate. So I really have to thank her. And so um, if you check it out, you'll see what it's all about. Hey, you been, did you know what I was coming on tonight? Did you know? Did you have the feeling? That's what I told you. I said, I would be coming on after I did the announcement of her generously giving me the gel plate, um, Patricia Stubbs. So yeah, and if she, I don't know, maybe she'll come tonight. But I'm going to wait for a bit to see if anybody else comes, Rachel. And if it's me and you, it doesn't matter. We'll do it together because I'm going to – this is going to be about having fun together and learning together because I am no expert. Like I told you, I have never done a gel plate, but I can look at videos as I talk to you, you know, and we can do it together and have some fun how it works. Then you'll get a rough idea. If you like it, you don't like it, you was waiting. Cool. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to go check something out while I do this. Um, I won't put the sound on it though, but I'm going to get how to use a gel plate. I want to see, uh, do you use a gel plate and let's see what it comes out with. Um, oh, I'm on Google. That's not what I want to do. Oh, 10 creative ways. To do, that's a YouTube channel. Let's see. Let's see what I can't put. I'm going to leave the sound off because I get myself in trouble, but uh, she's kind of showing you how to use a gel plate and I'm, Wow, you should wouldn't believe uh, gel printing gel. There's layers and upon layers of different things you can do. I'm gonna watch this as we wait. All right, so I can't. I might not say it, but I will say that I can't have the sound on, and I can talk about what she's telling you. This way, I don't get in trouble. And if you want to watch it, so she's gonna do some ten ideas, ten creative ways to use a gel plate. So I'm gonna kind of give you the information, and then we're gonna go and fool around with it in a little bit. I didn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want me to see your... We still aren't connected with each other. I want to connect with you. Um, I, I have some interesting things that I want to share with you, um, but I'm still not connected, Rachel, to you. So we need to fix that. We need to fix... We need to fix that so I can send you a few interesting things. Maybe um, sites that I've been reading and watching, um, if you're ready. If you're ready to... I guess I want to call it wake up and see some things that you might find interesting. You might believe, you might not believe, but uh, it's better to know and then figure it out. Yeah, I knew you did. I knew you're an educated lady and you want to know. Um, I'm not, this is not, okay, I, before I tell you stuff, it's not political. It, it is and it isn't. Don't do that. Don't think it's political. Just hear everything and then start searching for things and you'll see what I'm talking about. Don't take a side on anybody's side. Just be neutral and observe all the things that I'll send you to. Uh, and then we can discuss maybe on a forum off here on Facebook at a later date. I'll talk to you. And, and just like I do, like Mike, uh, he thinks you are interested. So what we'll do is I need to hook you up with Facebook. So then the three of us can discuss things if that's what you'd like to do. Yeah. Yeah. No, I figure. Well, you hear it and then you come out with what you think. Okay. What your ideas are. That's the whole point of that. That's why free will is what I want to use. The word is to think how you want to think, not be anybody telling you how to think. And I know you're pretty tough. That's why you'll understand this. Yeah. I figure I just, let's, uh, um, well, people are waiting for me. You only have two people anyways. Let me do, try this again. Rachel, I saw the comments you sent me. I don't know why. Rachel, uh, how do I get you on? I don't know how to find it. Send me an email right now. Okay. Let's do this right now and get hooked up on Facebook. Because I could actually pull you up and you could talk to me tonight if you want. Um, and But I'm going to have fun tonight. That's why I came on here. I wanted to, you know, you and others were talking about um, what could you do with this. And it's about having fun tonight. It's not about anything else. Um, but I really do want to connect with you. And I'll, I'll send you through Facebook some things that I've been looking at. And you tell me uh, what you think. And then we'll get, like, we'll have a meeting of the minds, me, you, and Mike, when he's not so busy. Well, these are cool i got to shut this down so I can talk to you. Oh, uh, let's see. So I'm in email. Um, I know I have you in email, Rachel. Okay. So this is what I want you to do, Rachel. 
let's get you figured out here. We are going to connect on Facebook, but uh, I actually could connect you on StreamYard, but I'd rather do Facebook because it's off this platform. Um, all right, Rachel. There you are. All right, Rachel, I'm going to send this. Okay, tell them. Okay, so this is going to be Facebook. That's the name of it. I'm going to call it in capitals Facebook. I'm going to want you to type the exact name that I'm supposed to find you in Facebook, and I'll do that because I'm not sure why we're not connecting. I saw you leave a message to me, but I don't get why I'm not, I don't find you anywhere on here. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so there it is. And I'll just put please. All right, please. Uh, get another. Send me your uh, Facebook name and then we'll hook up. We're doing it tonight. I'm going to get this done so I can start you on the path of what I've been doing lately. That's why I'm exhausted. I've been researching and I'm tired. I stay up late researching and watching and it was almost overwhelming me and that I had to stop for a bit. All right. So I just sent you the, the email and we will. By the time I get off here, I'm not getting off until I'm connected with you on Facebook because I think that... Uh, I think you're going to find something that's really interesting and I like your perspective on it because I don't, I, I, I don't know. I just think it's, I got past of where I'm going with this and then I kind of go one way and other ways and different ideas how to do this. But um, yeah, so it should be interesting having, uh, you know, this other party, other discussion group, I guess. Uh, oh, she did it. She gave me a comment. Oh, she didn't do that. She got me. A, oh, I have to rate this. I have to say this because I'm looking at my email mail trying to work it out, Rachel. And this is what Patricia Stubbs wrote me. I got to do this. I'm so glad you liked it. I hope that Brayer comes in soon. So she bought me one of these. I have one, but she didn't know I didn't have one. You deserve the best, Nana. Be well, and God bless you. And God bless you too, Patricia. Um, wasn't that sweet? What a beautiful message. I'm so glad you liked it. I hope that Brayer comes in too. So she bought me a Brayer, which, like, because I said she didn't know I had one or not. Uh, so the you deserve the best. We and we be well, and God bless you. Oh, talk about sweet. Uh, I, I took a pic. Okay. Hey, John. Hi, doll. How are you? Uh, did I miss anything? What's today? I'm losing track of days of the week, John. A big shout out to you, John. How are you doing, buddy? I, I hope you're well. You're working so hard on your channel. I hope uh, I hope you get it. I hope you do good. I'm, I don't know what to say, but putting some love and God and light and blessings. And if it's what you want, I hope you get it soon. I hope I know how hard you're working, buddy. And sometimes you just have to take a break. I was taking a break on here. Um, I wasn't, I came only on for the butterfly lately. That's all I did. Cause I want to, I promised I would do a vlog every day on the butterfly, which I've said now today was about, uh, getting this out the message, Patricia, John, um, I need for you to cook her. Yeah. Um, John, wasn't this nice Patricia Stubbs. I did some things that she was hanging up my channel. There's a few live streams tonight, but I have come to join my. Oh, that's sweet. John, you can go do where you're always wanted here because I know it's not a crafting thing that you do, but you're always welcomed. And if you need to go somewhere else, that's okay too. Um, I am here to support my family too. Um, and, anyways, Patricia Stubbs, by the way, John, sent me this. No, when your package comes in, which might take a lifetime, I promise to you, you will know it because I will do, it'll say Nana's got mail. Uh, Patricia sent gave me this. She sent this for me, and and I just did a video on it, uh, which was very generous of her. And so I had said I'm going to do something on a gel plate, but I couldn't say anything because I had to wait till I thanked her on my channel. I was not going to do anything to a gel plate until I thanked her. And so um, I did this morning um, a thank you for Patricia Stubbs for sending this to me through Amazon on .ca, and. Uh, I thought it was very generous of her. So a big shout out. So that's what I do. I, I don't ask anything of you. You guys are awesome. If you send me anything, of course, I would say thank you. And that's my way of thanking you is shouting you out on my channel. I almost feel like doing more shout outs than I actually do promoting things to do with my channel. Um, you know, I want to give, give, give instead of just, I guess, want to take in. Oh, 
Uh, you know what? Thanks, John. I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> she said, hit the like button. It says five people listening and I got one thumbs up and thank you, Rachel. I appreciate that. I was just getting set up with uh, Rachel. I'm not leaving Rachel until I get you set up. Cause uh, I do. I think you're going to find some of this stuff very fascinating. And I like what we were talking about and I like to get your perspective on it. I think I, I need you. I do. I really need you. And the, the sense of you're going to think differently than I do, or maybe Mike thinks differently. Just, and he knew, he knew you were interested and we knew that we want you to talk about it. Need about 800 hours now. Oh my God. It's only 800 hours, John. Let me, where's your, your thing? Oh my God, John. Are you kidding me? Are you sure it's only 800 hours? Let me run your channel right now. Oh my goodness. I know how hard you've been working and you deserve it. Um, why can't I get to your channel? I never gave the channel on this. Can I? Oh, yeah. I got John's channel right now. John, I'm going to run you. I'm going to run you um, as much as I can to help you out. 800. So you guys can run him. John, I'll try to help you out for the next couple of days when I'm on, John, and I'll just tell people to run your channel. 800 is nothing. Um, it, I want to really big a big shout out to you. Um, so let's, let me get running. I got your playlist. Let's see what you got here. You have 242, like I said before, but I'm just going to run it. I'm running it right now, and I'll try to keep running it as long as I can. I just don't like my, my computer to overheat, uh, but I do have another computer, and I might turn that on for you. That's what I'll say. I'll definitely uh, leave it on for you and run it right now, buddy. Uh, uh, I, you know what? I, I feel honored that you, you, you know what, John, it's special to you and me. I mean, I'm not afraid anymore. Um, if people want to call me by my first name, but you, I leave it for you, John. I think, I think you're the only one that I've left it and not said anything because it's good. I think I like it. I don't mind you calling me by my first name. Thank you. And I'm glad if you like my name, well, my, I'll thank, tell my mom that you like it because she'll thank you saying she's the one who named me. But yeah, I kind of like my name too. I kind of like it too. Um, and I guess it suits me. All right. That's why... You know, I'm not showing it, but that's why the butterfly, uh, John, uh, that one's being named after my mom because of that. I went from 9,000 minutes to 35,000 a month. Well, I'm running your stuff. Let's get you if you only eat, need that. I, I hope you're doing it right, John. That's all I can tell you. As long as you have your figures right, um, I'm all to help you out and we'll get you going. That's a, it's awesome thing. It's a, a good feeling. Yeah. So what do I got going? I got, um, I was just going to do the gel plate tonight and I was getting some ideas because seriously, I've never worked with a gel plate. So I thought this would be kind of fun that I teach you, but we learn together. We learn together. No problem, John. You go do what you got to do. I'm here. So yeah, I, I think, um, Rachel, like I said, uh, did you send me an email yet? Let's see. I want to reply to Patricia. Well, it gave me Patricia's channel. That's not what I wanted. Uh, if I, uh, I'm going to leave it there. I want to thank her. All right. So, oh, there you go. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Got it. All right. So, uh, I tried. Let's see. Mm. Is that the front of your chair? All right. Let me go try right now. Let me go do Facebook. I, I got a last thing I'm going to do with you. If this does not work out, I'm going to open up a stream yard and I'm going to bring you and show you what I see. That's what we're going to do, Rachel. I'm determined to get connected with you somehow. All right. Um, I did type this. It didn't give me it. All right. What is it going to give me? Let's see. I got, oh, I got it. I'm on your channel now. Woohoo. Oh, get out. I hope I can keep this. It looks like we're connected to each other. I got it. Uh, I'm not stubborn. All right, let me go get you. Right, I think that's you. I'm not stubborn. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, I got you as a friend. I have to have you as a friend. I do have you as a friend. Okay, Rachel, right here. 
If you reply, Rachel will be able to call you. And, and all right, there it is. Hope you're. Hope you get this. Woohoo! I got it. Let's see. Yay! I got it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta. Um, we can now call each other. Okay. So go luck. I just sent some. I'm gonna start giving sending you stuff that that I've been sending Mike. Um, okay, I'm going to give you some, I got to go grab Mike stuff and I'm going to send you the stuff that I've been doing to Mike. Um, I have more and more stuff, but I didn't, I only, these are the only things I sent Mike to get, you get an idea of what's going on, what we've been talking about. Ooh. So, all right, let me find, I got to get Mike's messages and all. There they are. These are all, um, share forward. All right. You're going to get a few and I will keep you better up to date, but these are the ones I did it several days ago, but that those are the channels kind of that I've been kind of hanging with that. I want you to pay attention to those channels, Rachel. All right. I got a few. Then you go in their channel and start reading the stuff in their channel. Um, if you, I told you, you have to be able to handle this because it's going to be, I'm going to be waking you up in a very strong way. All right. And this is, this is, um, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to give you, I gave you a lot. I don't want to give you, overload you with stuff, but at your leisure, just, uh, you know, read all this stuff. Some things I watch twice because it's like, okay, I, I try to, I try to think it's in my head, but you have to rationalize what you see too. So, um, all right, there we go. I gave you lots. You got it? Uh, oh, yay. Okay, we got you. Yeah. Rachel, just want to thank you for all your, Yes, Rachel's a beautiful lady, and she she's, she's not there for anything but helping and, and supporting channels, which I think is really cool. Thank you, guys. Don't be afraid to come into my channel. I see six people here and two thumbs up. Thank you. Um, there you go. And I'm going to get started on this. I just wanted to get connected with my friend Rachel, which I got it, so I'm happy. Rachel, just can you do me tell, tell me you got it? Tell me you got all the stuff, just but I got it, and then I'll know you're, you got it all. Just leave me a message and I'm going to carry on with this. I'm going to go back to, to this and then we will meet a, we'll get some kind of thing going on with me, you and Mike when Mike's ready to, cause Mike needs time to get it all in to um, what I've been sending. So I just want to, uh, you to acknowledge me that it's there and then we're going to crack this open up and I'm going to show you what it looks like exactly when you open this up. All right. Okay, I got John running, which is cool. Um, I don't. Do, you want to make sure you got me, Rachel? Will you do that? Just say okay or something or yes on Facebook. Tell me you got all the stuff I sent you, and then I'm going to move forward to starting this. Hey, there she is. Hi, I got to redo my jelly plate. And redo the recipe again. My first one cracked, and I am going to make my second one. Cool. I'm I'm hot. Oh, good for you if you try to tempt in that. Good for you, Christian. That's that's cool. Fabulous. All right. This is really. I think this is almost advanced for me. These designs. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is going to be a good idea for me to do. I want to show you a couple, and then you guys can help me out. This, I kind of like it. My first idea here, I want to show you what I'm going to do here. All right, what did they put? Oh, all right. I'm going to stop this one. This is a really, I like this one. This is pretty easy for me to start with. Okay, so this is what a jelly plate looks like. And basically it is. There's made with gelatin 
and it's made with glycerin. I was almost going to make it because they're not a cheap thing to buy, but um, I decided to buy because I just didn't have the time and, and I can't find the right amount. The gelatin would have cost me a lot as it is, so it was just easier and, not, and I guess not quite less expensive, but these are not these are not cheap to buy. I'm just telling you. So anyways, um, I've got it right here so I can store it back in the container. Oh, I know you will. I will splash your like button. Thank you. Thanks, John. I appreciate that. All right. I don't know if Mike's coming on. It's still early. Eight o'clock. You might come on. All right. Um, so, Rachel, do I got you hooked up? I'm going to put that. There you go. You got this, and then you're just going to put yes or no. Uh, go, you got to go to your um, Facebook, Rachel. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want to just... So I sent you some stuff to research after if you want. Okay. I think I'm going to, there's another one on the back of here that I could pull off, but I don't need to because I'm going to keep it flat. Let's say this got damaged. Then technically, we've got something already on here. There's no one on here. If this got damaged or had bumps or something, then I could kind of flip it over and use the other side. But right now I'm going to do this. Now, when I was watching the picture, this is one of the designs they kind of gave the idea to. And I thought this was kind of cool. I was just watching it. So I'm going to get some washi tape, and that's what I'm going to do. I just thought it was kind of cool what they did here. So I don't have it. I might have to get some napkins. I don't have anything to wipe it off. I'm not really organized, but all right. I'm going to see. Let's grab some washi tape. It really doesn't matter what color. I'm just going to take the old stuff, but um, kind of I'm going to do this to show you what you do. I'm going to take my washi tape I don't normally would use. We're going to use, um, uh, let's see, I'm just trying to find a bunch that, that I don't want to use. would be cool one to use. Okay. So I got a bunch. I just want to pick something that I would not normally use because it's going to be wasted. So this really doesn't matter. Which one do I find crazy? I'll try this this one here. It doesn't. There we go. These ones I like, so I'm not. I'm keeping them. All right. So the first thing design you're gonna do, and I don't know if this is gonna turn out okay, guys, because the uh, first time I did it, why is this sticking up so much? So I put air bubbles in it. All right. Is that better. Okay. That's better. All right. So let's undo this. Um. If I don't see Mike, could you tell? Thanks for, please. Yeah, of course I will. Of course. He, he might be in the background. He could be on right now. Mike will pop in and say hello. But uh, if he, what time? He, he should be in the house by now. He'll be probably making supper or something, I think. I haven't talked to him for a few days. But, uh, oh, there we go. All right, so that's washi tape. I don't know if you know. Uh, everybody know what washi tape is? Right? Anybody that's interested in what? Washi tape is that thing that's it's sticky, and you can put it on cards and everything else. That's what I'm going to use here. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm not setting a design. I'm just going to go like like this. Let me get a set of scissors. I'm so disorganized today. Hey. Oh, but I'm happy to be here. All right. All right, so you're going to... Okay, there. I'm going to go over here. It's not even here. you got to watch all the hairs underneath. Um, okay, he will be trying to get rid of the moles. Yeah, <laughs> I saw. I couldn't. I, 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 have to, I didn't watch it because there was a reason. If he kills anything, I can't watch it. If I, I don't know if I could watch it. I don't know if I... I mean, I get the moles, but I don't... This is the only video I've never wanted to watch before for Mike. I support him all the time. But I don't know if I could uh, see him trapping a gopher or something. I don't know if I could do it. I just don't know if I have the nerve. So it kind of, it was like, uh, I don't know if I want to watch it. But maybe I should just run it without looking at it. Because, <laughs> because I was thinking, traps kill animals. And, you know, I'm just, I can't help it. All right. So I'm going to go somewhere in here. Let's see what she did. How about like, like connecting like that? That'd be all right, like this. All right. All 
I have no idea what this is going to look like. I'm making this up, you know. They just said put uh, washi tape all over the place. I'm not following the design she did. I'm making my own design. Uh, but is it called a geometrical design maybe? Would this be geometrical? I don't know. I kind of like like that. All right. What else? Lois gets Ron his friend. He would try to catch the red of the moles, just watched it. He will always Um, just checking something. What's happening on here? You'll have to see. Actually, I'll go on the end. Okay. Now, I'm going to pick three different colors. Now you'll see what I'm doing here right now. i got to get some colors. So, um, what colors? Give me three colors, Christian. When I watched Mike's video, it's never him working. It's his mate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's funny. It's, that's his brother, by the way, John. It's not Ron. It's his brother. I don't think his brother's name is Ron. That's his brother. It's not his mate. It's his brother that does a lot of the work for him. His brother. Um. Anyways, what? Hey, Mister the Mel, how you doing? Give me three colors that you think are going to match together. Yeah, that's what I need. I need a couple of colors. What colors do you like? Um, Christian, you out there? Give me a color. I want three colors to go on this. So, um, Rachel, pick me a color if you're listening. Uh, John, pick me a color. Uh, you want purple. All right. Let me get purple. I need three colors. So you got purple. Give me three. I got to get up and get them. But uh, purple is coming on. Okay. Purple. Okay. Red and green. Okay. I got you. Purple. Red. Green. Okay. Now this, I don't know if the combination is going to look good together, but we're going to try it anyway. So watch. This is how you basically do a gel plate. There's different ways. I'm working with washi tape. Yeah. All right. Do you have sky? You want a blue instead? What did you put? John, you put red. You want These are the colors I got. You guys happy with your colors? This is what I picked. Do you have... I think John's being funny, but... That's the three colors I pick. Are you guys good with that? You're going to help me along this, this journey so you understand how I'm doing this. I mean, I know roughly how to do it, but I thought it'd be fine if you, we all did together. Okay, so, Miss Southern Bell, I'm going to put you at the bottom. We're going to go like do this. We're going to take shake it up. Shake it, baby. All right. Not... <laughs> uh, you want a blue... John, he's just not happy with the color. These are the colors. You want a blue? I know you're being you're being funny. You want a blue instead? Um, not happy with the color. You want a blue? Let me take a blue. Last switch off. I think I'll go like this. I'll do this one and this one, and I'll get a blue for John. John, you're so funny. All right. How's that? There we go. He's going to keep switching me. There it is. I got a yellow. You want a yellow instead now? Do you have a yellow? Yellow. Now, if I was going to do it this way, I'd do it these colors like that in the middle. You want? Are we good with this, John? Yellow? 
All right, anyways, it really doesn't matter. You guys, are, you're too funny. I'm going to start off. These are the three colors we'll use. It really doesn't matter. I'm just trying to show you how to, how to use it. No, <laughs> I knew you were doing that to me. No, not doing it now. Okay, so I'm going to shake it up. Ooh, and I'm going to put this green on, on the gel plate, okay? Just a little bit. I'm going to go here. This is, uh, you, you got to try to fill it all over, guys. Now I can come back and wipe it off. That's a lot of green. Well, okay. And then I can put purple right here. Yeah, when you say 9 p.m. UK time, you mean 4. Yep, that's what he means. <laughs> oh, John, you're too much for me. All right, let's go on. Okay. I, actually, I can use this paper after if I want to. All right. Okay, I wish I, hey, could you do me a favor? Uh, First, Derek, can you give me a pe some paper towels? Will you give me a piece of paper towel, please, and thank you? I love you two family. It's so nice to be around. <laughs> uh, thank you. Very oh, paper towel. Hey. I his hearing is really bad. He's, he's like selective hearing. He even, I mean, cleaned his ears out today so he could hear me, but seriously, I have to... Clean those ears out of his wax. Uh, ears out of his wax. <laughs> ears out of his wax. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I'm going to... That needs more purple. Oh, I'm going to go like that. So I have some. See, now the, the purple came off. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to pull this off. All these can come off these papers. Okay. No problem, Christian. Ugh, what a mess. I told you this is a messy thing to do, but you can have fun with it. Oh, uh, well, could you sell your... <laughs> yes, I could, John. Smarty pants. All right. So you got to take a paper, the whole object, just to put it right down on here. I got, what did you get? I got, got, what do you, what? I got done today, but I got a clean Friday. What do you mean? <laughs> You're too funny, John. You are, what am I going to do with you, John? What am I going to do? This this is it. I think I put a little bit too much on, but okay, so then Mm 
You're so you're too funny. You're oh, this is kind of cool. It's different, but it's cool. I'll show you after. I gotta let it dry. And then you come back with another one. And pick up this the rest of it. <laughs> Hey, hi doll. Hi Susan. I unlo what did you unloaded a bunch of stuff at my sister's business. Oh, a large load. Cool. Can you do a t-shirt? You talking about on this? I don't know. I I don't know. Remember, you could, I guess. Remember, I was showing you how it works on material, though. So I don't know. I don't. Uh, the worst you do is uh, try. I don't have material now to try, but I showed you what I did before. So I'll see. I'll see if I got a piece. Okay. So right now I'm aiming to just clear this off so I can do another pattern on here. All right. Okay. So see, it's, it'll take the second, and there's a print right here for. Uh, pictures and I'll show you after let me dry them on the floor so they come back here and if you don't like the colors that's when you're going to go and wipe everything off which I'm going to start from new I'm going to do something else but I have to get something to wipe the the uh, the roller off with it's a briar by the way so I'll be right back let me clean this off <laughs> All right, we got everybody saying hi to you. Can you make any caps, put your artwork on them? What? Can you make any caps? Um, okay, so I'm going to come back if you don't like the colors because it's going to pick up the colors. Just come back with a, a, a rag and wipe it off. I, I want a solid color on this one. I'm going to do something different with it and try something else. I mean, like I said, I've never did it before, so this is the first time I'm doing it with you um, together to show you how it works, and then you kind of create your own design on it yourself after. Okay, so now I'm going to come back with the... I'm going to clean this off because, trust me, it'll pick it up. A lot of people just continue putting over and over and over the coats of paint. Um, and I'm just, I'm learning myself. I want to see what I like first. All right. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, or hats. Do a, butter, a butterfly. I don't know if I can do a butterfly. Right now I'm going to do, let's see. I want to get it smooth. It does do air pockets. You can see that it comes off. 
Let me see it. Looks good. Um, where am I going to put this? I'm going to put this side here. Right now the time is, I was going to do this. I wanted to take feathers. See, I want to do something like that. Draw a dot. You're so fun. You guys are hilarious, you crazy people. That's enough. I don't want to put any more of that. Kind of. Yep, kind of meaning of that. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm trying to, it, it's not, the feathers aren't staying on here. I'm just trying to get the ultimate design of it, and then I'm going to pull the feathers off. I'm hoping... When I pull them off, let's see what happens. Yeah, it does leave a design. And then I can actually kind of, I might use this on something else. Um, I don't, glitter might kind of, it's a gel plate. So you got to be careful. Jill has a, Jill has, um, I mean, that is kind of hurt on it. I don't know. Maybe I got to be careful of it though, but maybe, maybe uh, I'll try a bit, but you can actually, it's gel. So you can actually probably destroy the gel. That's what I was thinking. I don't know. Your art is good, Denise, just like cooking. It's an art, too. I don't, you're not going to really see what it looks like until I print it. That's the point to that. All right, so let me move this over here. And I think the, look at the color of the feather. It's kind of pretty, eh? I'm going to let them dry out. I might use this for something else. I like the color of that. Eggshell. Yeah, that's kind of a cool thought. No, I like that. I'm going to try. I am going to give something a whirl. I just don't want to wreck the gel plate. Um, I heard eyelashes yarn. Yeah, that would be cool too. But I tell you what, in your case, I'm going to try something. I just got to be careful. I might have to take to the sink and rinse it off. But I'm going to try a little bit of sparkle stuff. I don't, I think I've seen them use it, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm just fooling around with you guys. Uh, okay, here's some silver, I hope. Let's do that. Nope, that's not the one I want. Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, here we go. No, that won't go. I'm trying to find some sparkle stuff. It's uh, silver that I like, and I don't really like this. This is silver, but, well, it's not the one I want. I thought I had a brighter silver. Oh, my God. I know I do. Give me a second. This is not what I want to use. I'm grabbing something I don't like. Oh, here we go. I got the right one. Here we go. I will try to do sparkly stuff on here and see what happens. Okay. Oh, yeah. Where's all the washi tape? 
Hmm. Huh. Let's it. Okay. All right. An ostrich egg. You're so funny, John. All right. Let's see. This is a very fine uh, sprinkle. Let's see what happens if it comes on the sheet. I don't know if it will or not. Can you see all that? That's I'm using a touch of that. It's very it's very shiny, but it's soft. So now I'm going to take my paper. And let's see what happens. Have you ever made a cat litter cake? Uh, made a cat litter cake. Actually, they're disgust. I don't think John would do that. They're disgusting looking, but the stuff in it tastes good. How about making a line with a knitting needle? Yeah, I guess. I don't know if you're joking or not, but you could actually put um, a knitting needle. Something that you could use in the design. Yeah, I guess you could. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. That's cool. I don't know. If, do I see the blaze? The shiny part? I don't know. Oh, this is really neat. I like the look of this. Oh, my goodness. Wait, now is it sparkly? It is sparkly. <gasps> it's beautiful. Look it. Well, I'm going to dry it off. I want to show you after because um, it's hard to show you with the gel plate there. That is really pretty. That turned out good. So let me try something else different. Um, huh. I think I'll put pink over it. instead of. Ooh, instead of rinsing off this, I'm going to shove a pink color on top of this one. Let's see what happens. That was pretty pink. John, hold on. Those cat ears she's got. Oh, shoot. That's a little too much. I'm going to scoop it back in. All right. Oh, you guys are a riot. All right, uh, let's do this.
Now, what did I want to do? I want to take... I love India, but never eat the turban. You're funny, John. Funny. There's my paper. All right. Um, what else do I want to do? Some other design. I'm going to take another tool. That's, I'm using this, and I use the back of a, a brush. Okay, now I'm going to print this to this one. Looks like. All right. Learn, but never eat the How are you doing, Susan? Are you okay, honey? You okay. Okay. Ready? Let's see. That actually turned out pretty good. Okay, so I think I'm going to put yellow on here. Everything you can make with them. Uh, you can make anything with them, guys, like journals, journal pages. You can make put it on a card, the front of a card, all kinds of stuff, all kinds. Some of this might look like a little weird, but when you part, start putting it as a craft, um, it actually looks kind of cool. I'm just telling you that it, look, it might look weird. If you don't have an imagination, it's going to look, some of these prints are going to look weird to you. But when I go to put it in a, a journal or a card or a paper itself or turning it into an envelope you can turn it into an envelope you can do whatever you want there's tons if you use your imagination there's tons of things that you think right now you might think these prints are really weird looking but when i'm done with them they're not gonna look so weird to you you're gonna think that was kind of cool um okay so i don't know how to draw a butterfly very well but i'm gonna try something here with the the butterfly idea 
All right. I'm gonna. I noticed my pen here. All right. So let's see if I, I'll, I'll just draw it. I'm not an artist like you are, Miss Southern Bell, but we're gonna draw something like a butterfly. Okay. So I'm gonna try to draw a butterfly. The center would be right here, and the antennas would be right here. All right, and then I'm gonna come out here and here, here and here. And I can actually do a design in here, I guess. This lovely yellow, yep. Yeah. And there's the butterfly. Let's come down a little bit, a little pointy. And then maybe I want to do, I don't know. I'm just, uh, maybe I want to do, since it's a nature one. <laughs> I, don't know how to I don't know how to draw. You're so funny. I don't know how to draw a dinosaur, but if I, if I knew how to draw a dinosaur, you would have a dinosaur, trust me. Right, so let's say, um, I don't know. I'm always thinking flowers and paper here I went this off I'm not sure why it's not coming off let's let's try this one all right Maybe you could draw a dinosaur. Yeah, don't ask me though. I'm I'm not the dinosaur person. Um, no, can't do it. But love to help. I do, you do a baby Yoda? Well, you you are quite the the drawer of things, and me. Or what does a bee look like? Let's see if I can do a bee. I don't think I can though. A bumblebee. It's kind of short. I have a little antenna. Kind of. Um, Yeah, maybe you should be able to do that. That would be cool. And I don't know. I'm just making this up. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, let's see what this looks like. <clears throat> okay. My favorite painting I ever did is hanging on Miss King Grandpa Wall in her YouTube room. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. That's cool. All right. I'll put this down. And I'm going to let them dry and show you out after when I'm done. I'm all, all right. Um, so we just keep going, and then I could put another color on top of this. But mind you, you're going to get the colors underneath it. That's kind of what happens. So if you don't like it, then you start from scratch, you're going to wipe it all off. <sighs> It's a picture of my dog. Oh, nice. That's cute. Well, let me draw. I don't draw like you, but let me let me draw something. Let me see if I can draw a cat or something. My cats look terrible, though, but. All right. Give me another color. Give me another color, you guys. What color you want me to work with now? Um... I mean, I can layer a color on top. Of, I let one, one dry, and then you put another color on top of that totally. You can do that, too. A oh, green. Okay. Are you going to switch it again? Are you going to switch it again? You're not going to switch it again, are you? All right. So I've got all kinds of colors on my roller. I'm trying to wipe it off. I'm doing green, John. I'm not switching now. I'll do one green. It's probably my least favorite color is green. <laughs> uh, you want me gray and pink. He wants green. I'll, I'll do all of it. It doesn't matter. I got lots of paper here. All right, so we'll do green. Um but John's being funny with me, but I'll do green just because he's a pain in the butt. All right, but I'll do gray and pink's cool. Yeah, I'll do that. No, not green. <laughs> Forget it. I'm not listening to him anymore. I'm not, I'm, he's out of there. I got gray. Let me see. How about a metallic gray? Let's try that. I got metallic colors. I never worked with that. How about, how about a metallic gray? What green and pink? Let's see. How about this? Let's try this. Um, I don't know. I have a metallic gray, like a silver, like that. What do you think? So put that on there. See, we got color. I don't even want on there, but okay.
Uh, do you want a brandy, Denise, with me? <laughs> yeah, I'll take something to drink. I think you're going to make me drink by the time I'm done. Sure, John. <laughs> You like it? All right. I'm going to put a little more. But because it's metallic, it's not going to look like gray. It's going to look different. I can see that. It's kind of almost see-through because it's metallic. That you can't see what I see. I'll let this sit for a couple minutes. And then I'm going to put the pink over top of that. I think that's what you want me to do. Right? Uh, you cracked me up, John. He hates green. So do I. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is put my pink. I don't. I'm trying to get it over top of this. Now I'm going to lay the dry for a couple minutes. Uh, I probably could run it on this. I think I actually will. I'm going to pick it off anyway. So. Okay, I took it on and put it on a, a blank piece of paper, the rest of it. And then I'm going to put that paper on top of this. So now I can put pink on top. I should be able to. Hey, that's all right. If, well, welcome back, Susan. It's all good. Welcome back. All right, let's try that. I'm glad to know this. Okay, that's gonna come off. I got my pink is I think I have to get some more pink. Pink has gone funky on me. I think I have a bottle somewhere else. Okay, I'm going to put that. I actually kind of like what that's looking like right now. I like the look of it. You like color green? Just a little more. All right. I like the blues. You like the blues? Okay. I got, so I'm going to, I'll do something else. Okay. Nope, still has a spot here I don't really like. I'll put more pink. Hey, there you are. Hi, hi Mike. You want to come and talk tonight? Or I'm trying to tell you. I wanted to talk to you a little bit later on after I'm done. Um, well, that's all right. There you go. It's all right, guys. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Um, Rachel. Okay, so what did I want to do? I am a terrible drawer, Miss Southern Bell, not like you. So I'm going to do my definition of a cat, which is really like a kid's cat. My drawings are terrible, but 
So let's go like this. All right. And like this. All right. Oh, God, I got hair here somewhere on it. And like that. And like that. That looks like a kid now. <clears throat> ah, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm making this. That's supposed to be a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put a tail in. That's my definition of a cat. All right. And I'm going to go. Um, oh, I'm going for a third mile <laughs> now. It's been awesome to see you, everyone. Thanks for joining me, John. Have a good one, honey. I got you running. I'm going to keep you running on my channel. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Mike. You're a legend. I told Denise to thank you, but <laughs> how did I forget when you're still here? But yeah, you're a legend, Mike. You're a legend. Don't go let it go to your head, but you're a legend. Don't let it go to your head. Um. Uh. Okay, well, I need grass here, so I kind of like it's in the grass on my on my front lawn. I heard that. I read it. Like, you know what? These women are <laughs> like I said, you're a legend, Mike. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> ah! No, I'm mean, totally against that. And stop using my first name. You're not allowed to use that, Mike. Only John does. John is the only one allowed on the internet. That's his privilege. To use my first name. I've allowed John it because he couldn't kept, he couldn't call me Nana. For some reason, he couldn't do that. So he's the only one I've given the privilege to call. Not you, Mike. You don't get that. Uh-uh. You have to say Nana. Just, just John. <laughs> there it is. Now it comes off. Finally. A brandy. <laughs> Get it off of there. John is the only one. Mike, you're not allowed to call me by my first name. I have never let you. It's so weird for you to call me by my first name. It, it is. The only one I've allowed is John. It, it's so weird calling me by my first name. Uh, you're grounded. He's freaking cheeky. He needs a smack. I'm going to smack him again. I'm going to take out the, the stick and smack him. He likes that, though, so I better not. Oh, he's a legend, all right. Sure he is. Okay, so actually, my kitty is outside, and... Oh, guys, I don't know. What shall I say? Would you want me to let you call me by my first name? I only let John do that. Yes, I'm Denise Pet. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I'm 
I can't even say it. Yeah, he's my pet. That's my pet. Sure. Whatever you say, John. If you call me by my... I called you, Pam. You can call me whatever. I mean, I, I'll tell you what. How about... This is the deal. So you want to call me Nana or you want to call my first name here? I'll I'll I'll, I'll say yeah. Um, but it's Nana is something that I'm used to hearing. It's weird somebody else calling me my first name because I don't normally do it. But it's not a big deal. Mike is uh, not the king. That's Elvis. That's what's safe for Elvis. Elvis is the king, not Mike. No way. Okay. What do I want to do here? There's a little butterfly, and I think I'll put a butterfly down here. Of course, I got to have my butterfly. Every time I do artwork, I have to have a butterfly. All right. Uh, and tomorrow, I might have a butterfly. Woohoo! Maybe tomorrow it'll be born. I'm not positive, but maybe. Ah, <laughs> you wish. You wish. You wish. I doubt that. No, he's not. Only John. John, he is... <laughs> Oh, he does not call me that. He calls me honey and sweetie, but he's not, he doesn't call me by my first name. Not normally. No, no, I don't not allow him, but he doesn't call me that. You're the only one on here that I'm allowing John. Um, no one ever called me that because that's your privilege. You're, you couldn't say Nana. It was so hard for you to say it. So I thought I'm going to be nice. I'm going to put some sprinkles on here. I kind of like that idea. So um, it is, let me see what I want to sprinkle on. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on top. Yay! It's a fairy tale. This is a fairy tale story. Just on the top on this one. I don't think you guys can really see this, but I'm putting sparkles on here. <laughs> uh, poor trucker man. Was V first just say? <laughs> no, he wasn't. Uh, I don't think so. Did you see the, like, did you ever see the size of him? You've seen him. I showed his face. Like, he's he's a six foot tall guy. I don't think I would ever have a chance to beat the heck out of him. I, I think that's impossible. But I can be bossy when I want to be sure. Uh, women rule. Yeah, baby. One more time. Let me do that again. Women rule. Yes, baby, it's about time in a good way. Not all women are great, but I'm talking about women rule in a good way when they're good women. Because there's a couple women that are a little shaky for me lately, but good women rule. I actually did something. Ah, look at it. Got, um, it came off. Darn it. I can put a little bit more pink here. Let's do that again. Who is six foot? Uh, I know you don't realize how much power a short person. <laughs> I rule, baby. I rule, Mike. You want to go there? Fine. I rule. I'm the ruler, and there's no doubt about it. I am the ruler. Girl power. Woohoo! All right. This is my idea. I already put the excess on here. And so I'm going to go do this. This this is going to be different because I forgot about the gray there. But I'm going to do it anyways. Let's go. All right. Let's see what happens. Girl power. Girl power. Uh, 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 girl power. Girl power. My husband's going to kick me out and think I'm insane. Women. Girls. That's it. People are going to roll under snakes. Oh, John. <laughs> I took the words right out of my mouth. 
<laughs> ah, you guys are so full of it. Full of baloney. Baloney. I, I got a new word for you. Instead, of, I'm going to use love ya. Love ya. You know when somebody gets you really angry and you want to use a different language? Well, I, my language is going to go, oh, Mike, love ya. Instead of screw you. No, I'm going to put love ya. Love ya. All right, here goes. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Did you ever, anybody work with a gel plate? Or I'm the only one that you actually watch and work with a gel plate before. You guys are new to this, aren't you? Uh, I think someone else has a swollen head. A swollen head. Not me. Because girls rules, girls rules. Uh, 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 ladies rules. Might not be me. I don't think so. Might be you. A swollen head now. I don't think so. Welcome back, Christian. All right, let's see what happens. I gotta pull this off. Oh, let's see if my design goes. It's just a cutie design. That's all. Oh, look at my kitty. <gasps> look at hello. Oh, look at how that kitty. That is the bad girl pop rocks. Uh, I think I'm, I was thinking about buying one for someone's birthday. Well, if somebody likes doing this or kids, it's for any age, really. You don't, it doesn't have to be an adult. But uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's not a cheap thing though, but if you want to use it. Okay, give me another color. I'm switching sides. And as soon as it dries, I'm going to pick them all up. They're all like, I threw them all over the floor and I'm going to show you after when I get tired of doing this, I'm going to show you what I've done with all the paintings. Give me another color. Anybody? What color do you want me to take? Do next? I don't know what design I'm going to do. I got to make it up. I don't have a clue what I want to do. But what do you want me to do? Any color you guys got in mind? And I'm going to leave the pink on here. I'm going to put it over top of the pink, I think. Uh, what's your favorite color? Oh, blue. Wait a minute. What did you want? Uh, blue, right? Is it blue? Susan, you said blue? Black? You have turquoise? Turquoise. Um. Susan Pitt Blue, you got tur do I got I do got turquoise, yeah. Uh you want a blue. Okay. Let me do Susan and then I'll do another one for turquoise and a black and yeah, I'll do something different. Um just gotta find some more paper, but I'm good. I'm hoping you get the parcel. I <laughs> I hope we get so do I, John. That's funny by Christmas. I have no idea. I don't know. That's all I can tell you. I have no idea why it's taking this long, but it takes a while because it's from overseas. But uh, I had somebody sent me something in Canada. It took a while. From Canada, it took me a while to get right on the East Coast. They sent me some seeds, and it took a while to get the seeds. So, and that's right in Canada. So our mail is not, I would not say the best mail ever. But could be worse. I mean, they got them working seven days a week now. And in my whole lifetime since I've been around, I've never seen a mailman work seven days a week. Never. You like that blue? Cool. What do you want me to do on it? Give me a design. What you want me to do? You are going to create your own. You guys are going to, I'll do the next one. I'll do turquoise. And then Kristen, you can tell me what you want me to do. Just don't make me work too hard. You guys, um, um, but uh, what do you want me to do now? What do you want me to draw on it? Or what do you want me to use? Uh, and it's up to you guys. So this is designed by you. Susan, what do you want on it? What do you want? Flower. You want me flower. A big flower in the center of it? Like a big, big, huge flower in the center? Uh, okay. You said a tree. You're... Miss Southern Bell, when I do your turn, you're going to do it. She's going to design hers, and then you're going to design yours, and Christian can design hers. Uh, put print, please. I'm not putting a butt print. No. So she said flower. Butt print. You want a big flower? I'll put a big flower in the center. All right. A hand, 
Oh, a handprint. That's actually kind of cool, but I'm going to do that on yours. I'm, when I do the black, I'm going to do that one for you. Susan wants a flower. And I, this is for Susan. Then I'll make let Christian do a design with me. And then I'll do one for you. And if you want to, you want something like that, then I will do that for sure. All right. I think we have to stick to the copy machine then. Um, what? Anyways, okay. What else you want on it? Do you like the flower? Susan, what else you want on this? I got a flower for you. Is that what you is that what you want or you want more on this? You got a flower, two leaves. Um, what would you like? I could even put your name on it, Susan. That's all. Oh, this message. What do you got? Uh oh, it's getting you in trouble. Um Look at they you get really chop. Uh, you want a butterfly on this one too? All right. Up here in the air? Up here? Tell me tell me where you want the butterfly on the top. Actually, I think I'm going to put a dot in here, too. Put some dots in here. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, yes. I'll put it right up here. Okay, that's just creepy, Mike. All right, what's what's next? Do you want anything else? Hemorrhoids. See, they get out of control in my channel. Out of control, you guys. Behave. Or I'm going to have to treat you like a little kid and give you a lecture on it. Behave. Be nice. Cliff. You're just as bad as they are. Look at, they're all like a bunch of little kids. Um, I have to go to bed now. I have a, you got a headache. <laughs> All right, bye, John. Have a good one. Thanks, buddy. I got you running in the back. It's all good. Be on the flower. All right. That's what I forgot. I put, didn't put a wings on it. Um, two sets of wings. There it is. That's what I was missing. Thank you. I forgot about the wings on the other one. Okay, there we go. Something like that. I guess a little head too. How's that? That's a little bee, the best I could do. Um, <laughs> I'm nice <a> legend. <laughs> Don't spank me. Oh, Cliff, you're too, too much. You guys are just, you're just funny tonight. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Let me print this one out. And let's see what it looks like. Already. All right. Christian, are you still out there? Okay, what did you say? What color? You're going to design the next one. What color do you want? 
<laughs> good. Uh, hey, be good. You guys, you guys are going to get in trouble on my channel. I'm like the, the, the mom, and you guys are being bad, and I have to discipline you guys. Bad boys. All right, anyways, um, turquoise. Okay, I got you. I'm going to do turquoise next. You got it, Christian. Might have to get, I might have to clean everything off because I got so much paint on here, but uh, you are definitely next. And then I'm going to do, if you want fingerprints or whatever you want on yours, Miss Southern Bell, you want black, I'm going to do something with black after, for sure. We backed this one. <laughs> ah, you guys are so funny tonight. You're good. You're good, Cliff. That's funny. All right. So there we go. Okay. Yeah, you take care of him. He's not being good tonight. You tell him. Tell him. All right, Christian. I think I'm going to keep the blue on the back of this because I kind of like it. So. I think I'm going to mix the turquoise with this blue. So we have a different shade. All of them have different shades. They have, they're like two-tone. They're not totally solid one color, but it kind of looks still cool. All right. Um, let's see what I can do. All right. I need some more paper. There's more paper. You know what? Christian, you are going to have cardstock. I'm going to do yours different. Yours and Miss Southern Belt. I'm going to grab two cardstocks. And we're going to do this is the cardstock. It's he heavier. I mean, you and Miss Southern Belt is going to have cardstock as a design. So I have a few cardstock ideas here. All right. She wants turquoise. So, this is the, the only turquoise I got. Is that, this is good. Christian, that's what it is. Right there's turquoise. Okay. And I think. The torquers is going to blend in with the background of the blue, so I'm going to put this over top of that. Okay? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> um, all right, it's a little more. That takes my spots out of here. something on here. Okay. There we go. I'm going to put a little more on it. Oh, Botter. Uh, this painting stuff is so boring. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. 
Okay, so anyways, enough of that. What would you like on it there, Christian? Okay. What kind of design would you like on it? So, Christian, what, what would you like on the design for it? For it? <sighs> you want an arrow? Like a whole bunch of arrows? A whole bunch of arrows or one big arrow? In what direction do you want the arrow in? Oh, a whole bunch of arrows? Yeah, that's a whole bunch. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. You like something like that, Christian? Is that cool? Just a whole bunch of arrows all over the place. <clears throat> Okay, cool. All right, there we go. Anything else? Anything else? That's going to be cool design. Is there anything else you want on here? You want anything else here, Christian, or is this good? And I'll start the black one for Miss Southern Bell next. Uh, no, nothing else? Okay, let's try and see what it looks like on uh, cardstock. All right. Da 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 da
See what happens. I don't know what's going to come out like. All right, maybe it's almost ready. Let's see what happens. I think it turned out pretty cool. Oh, it really takes all the paint off, too. That's cool. There we go. Oh, 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 shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. Pretty good. Looks cool. Good job. Um, I used uh, a different one. I'm going to use this. It's um, cardstock. I use cardstock on this one, Miss Southern Bell. Yeah, oh, it's cardstock. So we're going to do something in black now. And uh, yeah, let's see. Over here. All right, got it cleaned off enough. I'm going to get some black. Let's try some black and see what happens. All right. Uh, where's the black? There we go. All right, I got um, black on here. Let's see what you want me to do here. Okay, there we go. Woohoo! That's a dark color. Hope we put something pretty on this. Mm -hmm. 
kind of design do you want to put on this black one this will probably be my last one uh tonight yeah oh i did pretty good almost two hours what kind of uh is that the tv oh you hear it hang on a minute i'll tell him to lower it hang on i'll tell him to lower it if you can hear that give me a second whoa i'm gonna get up early okay All right, got it. Miss Southern Bell, if you're out here, what kind of design would you like me to put on here? If you're still here, what would you like there, darling? Yeah, what can I put on next for you guys? What would you like to put on this color? A star? You want a bunch of stars or just one? Like a big star or a bunch? That's kind of a neat idea. I like that. Like a bunch of stars like I did? You want lips and stars? You want stars. Okay, I'll, let me start out with stars. You want um, lips? Hi, Sheila. Okay, you want stars, lips, a moon? You want lips. And I'm trying to draw little tiny lips and different size lips. All right. Ooh. It's got too much block in it. That won't show up. <sighs> okay.
So I'm just putting a bunch of whatever lips all over the place. That's not working out though. Lips and stars. Uh, I'm enjoying my day uh, off one year older today. Oh, it's your birthday? I'm enjoying my day. I'm one year older today and I even work, but I like what you are do doing. Thank you, Sheila. And happy birthday to you, doll. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sheila. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sheila. Cool. All right. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but you asked for it. You got stars and you got lips. And okay. Cool. It's her birthday. That's awesome. All right. Let's see if I can put a star up here. It's got a little bit. All right. I don't that I got so much paint there. I don't know if the lip's gonna stay there on that corner. Let's see if I can uh well it's yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. It's gonna probably be a weird design up here. I can't even leave a star. I have too much paint up here, but Let's see if I can put a star up here. There we go. So I hope you had a beautiful day there, Sheila. Hope you had a beautiful day. Let's see what happens. Do, 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 do. Make sure I get it all. It actually, I can clean up the whole gel. Um. <clears throat> yeah, gel plate. I was trying to figure out, what am I saying now? Gel plate. It sounds like it's laughing. My my table probably. I need some 10W40, Susan. You can hear it. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, I don't know if anything's showing up. Wow. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. This didn't work very good at all. Nope, nothing showed up on here. Well, I'll let it dry. I guess I could use it on something else, but yeah, that didn't work very good. Let's try another piece of paper and see what happens with that one. All right, put that down. <sighs> okay, let's see what else I got. Oh, a piece of paper. Oh, you know what? I got something to try. I have this deli paper that I was going to work with too later. Let's see what this deli paper looks like. Let's see what the block looks like. Deli paper.
Maybe too much paint. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, maybe too much paint could have been for sure. Yeah, Let's, I'm gonna pick it up. I got this deli paint, so I wanted to see what this would look like. Deli paper. All right. Yeah, that didn't work good. Um, all the other ones you can just at least see a design. This one uh, worked the worst, but. I could do it another day. I could try a different color. Like try black, but maybe putting way less on it. Well, that's different. Oh, mind that, actually. It's weird, but different. I'm going to do it one more. One more paper. All right. You know, I'll use this for different projects, I guess, on a later date. Whether I use them or not, I don't know yet. Um, but I think I'm not going to waste any of it. I'm going to clear it off with one more deli paper. Wait, do I got paper? Let's see. Oh, I got normal paper. Let's try this one again. Okay. Maybe need a little white. I don't know. I doesn't. Uh, maybe I needed a white underneath it. Maybe. Yeah, I'll do it another day though, and you guys can all tell. Like you know, I'll do some fun stuff together another day. Um, I need to practice designs and everything with this anyway. Oh, look what I did. Yay. Okay. That's okay. Anyways, That'll actually be cool because I'm, I'm tempted to paint the rest of it after I take this off anyways. I got a bunch of rolling stuff. That's not doing much. So I'm going to go. I'm going to clean my roller off and do a design with it so I don't waste all the paint on this and I can clean it off better. Thank you, guys. Got 11 thumbs up and 11 people here. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Love you, guys. Love you. I don't know what it's going to look like on the other side, but I kind of—I don't mind this side. I think I can do something with this. You see, it didn't pick up too much on this side, but maybe I can just uh, do it off. Oh, nope, it's dry. Well, I'm gonna—I'm not gonna do it in front of you guys because I'm gonna clean all this off after all my tools. Hey, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Thanks, everybody. We love you. I know. You know what? I'm going to say this now. I can say it because I feel safe right now. I told you, if somebody comes to bug me, I won't acknowledge them because that is not the right thing to do. But um, I have to stand strong because I just don't agree with somebody trying to bully tactic your channel. So if you notice that I go kind of quiet or I'll acknowledge somebody and say they have a right to their opinion, but um, as long as they don't cause my tr my channel any trouble then i will you know i will hang in there i'm just gonna let them be but um you know 
Got to hate strong. I love everybody, even the people trying to bug my channel. They they have to get over themselves. But they got to leave me alone because I'm not going to acknowledge them at all. It's like having a little kid taking a fit has to bring it to another channel and then and keep going on and on. Get over it. Get over yourself. Move on. That's it. You can't come to my channel. Uh, I know exactly. I did. did I, that's what I did. I was ignoring. And um, I, I think he's gone. He disappeared. So I didn't say nothing. But I'm just saying, you see what I get to go to, right? We're gonna tell. That's why. I'm, so I'm glad you noticed. If you see that stuff, you can see what I'm going through. That's what I've been talking about. I've been talking about that for uh, probably not quite a year, but yeah, that person doing that, and then he goes to somebody else's channel and kind of wants to knock my name. And if you guys don't know me by now, I'm thinking you never will. You know, I am a decent person and. I'm a religious person and love and light, and I'm not going to go to the dark side, and that's the dark side to me, so I'm going to not go there. Does it bother me? Yeah, maybe, but whatever. I'm going to get past it. I'm tougher than that. I'm not going to let it, but I just want to, I'm not going to acknowledge it all the time. I'm just trying to tell you what, what, just be aware of what I go through. When I go really quiet or something like that, they're trying to get an attack to, to get me going. So that's what I'll say. And hi, bud. Hi, doll. I know. I know you do. Thanks, Tim. I need that every so often. I need a reassurance on that, that people have my back because I, I need it, I think, sometimes. Um, you know, not you can't hold strong every single day all the time. I'm tired, so um, I shut sold the love out to you, too. Oh, well, Miss Southern Bell, you just seen it for yourself. Pay attention sometime to the same person. I wish he would. I wish wish he would take his advice and say you're dead to me. That's such a mean thing to say to somebody. Really, that's just. But it is what it is. He has problems, and I don't, you know, care to to go on that the, the thing. But because it's mean, that's the whole point. They want to be bullies, and they want to sit there and think to affect you to get you upset. I'm not going for it anymore. Been on here too long to do that anymore. No, nope. I'm going to enjoy my life beyond here and my beliefs and stick to what I want to do. You know, people have a right though. If it's boring, it's boring. It's okay. I'll get over it. It's boring. It's boring to you. I hope you enjoyed it though. Those of you who, who like what I do, I hope you had fun, uh, you know, helping me because I'll do this again to, another day. I, I'm, I'm waiting for Patricia to come. I can't wait for maybe she can show me how to do some designs. Uh, Patricia Stubbs, who gave me, sent me this uh, awesome gift. Um, so you guys, did you have fun doing this anyways? Uh, just Mike, are you going up, Cheeky? If I knew you would be here, Mike, I wouldn't say hello. <laughs> you guys are funny. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to get. I, I do plan on, I don't know, Mike, how busy you are. I would like to talk to you for a moment, if, if that's okay with you, after I get off of here. That's it. I need that, Tim. See? You saved me. Tim, look at how cool you are. You put the positivity in my channel. Positivity, Tim. I'm not even going to call you Tim Sexy Holmes. I'm going to go, Mr. Positivity. Tim, the Holmes is in my channel. Mr. Positivity, Positivity Tim, uh, who will make you smile and cheer you up. You not got anything negative to say, and I love that about you. What kind of paper you used? Are you talking? Okay, so I've used three different kinds. This is a normal paper, uh, you know, a uh, printing paper. Um, I use used cardstock, Miss Southern Belt, and the last one I use, it's called. I got it in a box, and it's called deli paper, and it looks like this right here. It's a different. It's uh, what deli deli paper. But a lot of crafters use jelly paper, so um, I thought it'd be cool to try that. I'm, I'm not cheeky. Yeah, oh, yeah. Anyways, that's the jelly paper. So I'm going to do a review of all the stuff I made tonight. See, I can use that. I'll use that as something. Um... Uh, 
Thanks, Tim. I appreciate that. I know you guys got me, Susan. You guys are sweetie pies. All right, so I'm going to show you what I started out with before I get off. Uh, Mike, are you available to talk to me a little bit tonight? I think they want to hear your voice. Do you want to come on here before I get off? Because um, I'm not going to stay on much longer. I'm not doing any more. I've done enough papers for today, but I'll do some more after. I think that's still wet. Let's see. I'm going to switch it to this side. So I want to show you the stuff I did so far. Uh, yeah, deli paper is a really cool thing for crafting there, Miss Sunnydale. I'm going to show you the designs I did, okay? And then, uh, all right. So this is one of the ones I did. I created. Look at how cool. Do you like this? I like it. I put a little sparkle on it. Um, actually, that was your idea. But look at look at the design of this one. I think that turned out pretty cool. So that's one of the designs I made right here. I can see myself putting that in the journal. It'll look kind of cool. And this was the very first one I did, which is a really weird one. But uh, wax paper is deli paper. No, it's not the same thing. It's not. Wax paper is different feeling than deli paper. It's not the same thing at all. Wax paper feels different. Deli paper, I don't know how to explain it to you. It just, it's a different feeling. If I showed you this, it's its different than wax paper. Um, like I'm just telling you. There's a, well, it, what do you think of this one? It's like a modern design, but that was the first one. Okay, you want to see the box better? Okay. Let's see. It doesn't say standard weight deli paper. Uh, it, well, it does say dry. It says dry wax deli paper. It does say dry wax. Yes, up here. There's dry wax. It says interfold dry wax deli paper. So, um, it, but it, it wouldn't, it would have said wax paper. But it says dry wax, dry wax deli paper. Can you see it? It says right there, Mike. All right, anyways, moving on. There's another one. This is the one I, I thought. I, I like, what do you think of this one? Well, show me what you... I don't have anything. I didn't use deli paper on it yet, Miss. You can use it in journals. Um, you'll have to wait till I come up with projects to use the stuff in. Get your cheeky stuff up there. We needed to know for sure what, yeah, okay. Uh, not that you're going against me in any way. <laughs> All right, and there's, uh, who did this one? Oh, yeah, Susan, this is your design. I kind of like the silver went through it. Ready? Um, I don't I don't know if I get Mike on. Right now, I'm just going to show the pages, and I'll deal with Mike in a minute. If he wants to come on, it's up to him. All right. And that's another one I did. Great. And where's my kitty cat? All right. That's not dry yet. This is jelly paper. That's what it looks like. But that one's the only one. I can do other ones, but these are not dry yet. Uh, so, Christian, this turned out good if you're still there. I like the look of this one. There's the one you did for Christian. Um, and I got, this was the second hand one I did. Okay, so if I go back to this one here, that's the first design. And then we want Mike, we want Mike. Okay, and then this is the second design. You got a thing for Mike, Miss Southern Bell. I'm going to send him your way. You're funny. That's the second one. So that came from that. Um, so you can actually pull it up a couple times. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You do the main base one and then come back and it'll give you kind of a different design on this, the next one. Um, that block is not drying at all, so I can't show you that. The deli paper that's black. Yeah, black. I don't like the look of the black because the least one I like is the black one. All right. Um... And ta -da! <laughs> there's my uh, abstract kitty, and it's got uh, sparklies on it. See, no, he's funny. 
Um, he makes you. Oh, he makes me laugh. I don't know if I get laughed or annoyed. I'm not sure. I have to figure that one out. I gotta, okay, so my you should see how messy this is. If I showed you, uh, there's my hands. So beware that it's messy. So if you're going to go do this, make sure whatever you're doing it on has tons of newspaper to, to grab it up because it does make a mess. This is why I wasn't doing it all the time, but it's fun. Um, it was fun. It was fun making it. So we're going to do it again. I'll just show you all the ones I did. That was done with feather, which I really, I'll do this again. I like the, I like the, the look of this with feather. I think it's cool. Very funny, Mike. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Stop calling me that. You're grounded from that name. Grounded. You do it purposely. Grounded. You're grounded. Okay, here's a deli paper one, but I don't want to touch my, my stuff. So there's a design uh, that came off after the first month. You can see it's still drop. I, I put way too much block on it. That's my issue. I can tell for sure I did. I had way too much block. So I'll have to dry. Maybe I will. Maybe I'd do white underneath and then block on top might be better. And then that's the third one. So I did, it had so much paint that I did. Let me see the original design is right here. So that's that one, right? That's the first design that was so dark that I, I know I put too much paint on it. And that's the second one. And then that's the third. Okay. That's, so I hope you guys enjoyed that um, and learned a little bit. And maybe I'll come up with, there's, of course, there's really even way better designs than this. I'm just, this is my first time doing it. So when I was looking at some other channels and how to do kind of cool designs, they're beautiful designs. They didn't do like I did. They, they have beautiful, beautiful designs. And I got to learn a little bit better than what I did. But I can use these, all this stuff on a journal or something else. So I'm not going to waste my stuff at all. But it was a lot of fun. And if it's something you do, if it's something um, you enjoy doing, then you can do it with me next time, Christian. If you're out there, you can always uh, get that made and we'll do it together, honey. It's all good. Okay, there's something wrong with my computer now. Oh, where did I, where'd you guys go? Okay. So I'll, I'll send Mike a message. Wonder if you used a stamp in the paint. Yeah, you could. No, you could do that, Mike. Yeah, you could you could do a stamp. I wonder if you could use a stamp in the paint would work. Like if I stamped over top of it would probably work. Yeah. I think. Um next time I do it, uh, next time I don't know if I'm gonna do it tomorrow night or something, but I'll definitely be working this for the next few days. As long as I don't run out of paper, I'll make some more designs and try stamps and see how it works. Sure. I bet you a stamp would be okay. Bet you I have no uh, no problem. I think that would probably work really cool, actually. All right. Um, I I you, I don't know if I'm buggy. I know you're tired. Did you want to come on or? Uh, let's see. And your stuff's not even working. Are you even on right now? Let's see. 
Oh, I forgot. I have to unplug it too if I do this. It's ringing. You're, okay, Mike. Yeah, I got to unplug it again. I know I got to fix the TV and get a new cord, but I have this feeling it's a back TV. Give me one second. I'm going to unplug and then you'll be able to talk. And then Miss Southern Bell's got this. She's got this hot on for you. So there you go, sexy Mike. Get talking to her. And uh, there you go. And friends. Wait a minute. I can't even see. You in trouble, man. You in trouble. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Oh, this is so much a disturbance to you. I, was, I think the stamps would work, though, by the way. It's not a bad idea. Um, like, were you talking about, like, do, painting it and, like, doing a design like this, right? Like, make some kind of design and then stamp over top of this paper? Right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, no. Because it'll cut into the paint and hopefully would lift it as long as the paint wasn't too thick. And then you, you'd be able to have that uh, watercolor look, I mean, the paint with the design in it. Yeah, let's try something. I'm going to do more on this uh, later. Um, uh, I I like it. I had fun with it. And I know there's more super in intricate designs with this stuff, but I had a lot of fun. So let's, okay, let's take, I could add a stamp to, um, I don't, like, I like a lot of the pictures here. That's why I don't want to stamp the design on something. Uh, let's take a paper that I, I like these ones, but Oh, well, we go on. What about one of these? I'll take one of these and put a stamp on. Hello, oh, my sweetheart, Miss Southern Belle. Oh, we'll do it another day, Rachel. All the stuff I did. It's not a big deal. Um, I had fun and it was cool. And I had fun learning with you guys, seriously. Um, but I will try to like get more intricate techniques on this. I even liked how I did the uh, the ribbon, like the fe look at how the feathers look cool. I can use these up there, you know, with the blues on them. So maybe I will save another day for the stamping. Yeah, we'll do it. I'll let, let you pick something, maybe if you want, Mike. Everybody can have a turn of designing like a page just for something to do to keep you guys intrigued, I guess. So you worked lots today. Miss Southern Bell, you got your man. Get all that out to your man. She needed the man on there. The man trying to get me worked up. That man is here. Did it work? It worked. I don't know if it worked. Did it really work? Seriously? Oh, yeah. Your voice started getting higher. <laughs> oh, oh, you wanted me. Oh, well, I'm going to have to. Oh, I can act. I cannot get upset. I was going to vacuum, but I threw down here, Mike. Oh, why don't you get Mike to vacuum at your house? Oh, she's all happy now. Look at her. She's like, they got the giggles. Mike's on. I'm going to start. <laughs> so would you like me to vacuum your floor with or without a shirt? <laughs> oh, God. That's on your channel. You get If you go down that path, Miss Southern Bell, you and Mike can hang out on your channel. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting too smoochy, smoochy. It's it's Mike. Mike's going to your channel. Look at They're all laughing. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I'd say put the shirt back on. That's me, though. No, I don't want to see you without a shirt. So as I'm bending over to pick something off the floor so it doesn't get vacuumed up, I might even uh, a little bit. <laughs> Mike, I'm going to send you to Mrs. Southern Bell. This channel is not going in that direction. Too. I got to be careful with you two now. I was thinking at the right time. You <laughs> sure are. I'm, gonna, I'm sending Mike is going to visit Mrs. Southern Bell because she's getting the giggles with him. So I'm going to let her gig. Mike can give her the giggles. That's it. She can vacuum and do whatever he wants at her house. That'd be perfect. She's single. <laughs> she, she's trying to set you up. She's trying to set you up with a woman, but she's single. I'll set you two up. There you go. You guys, she says, I need Mike. He makes me laugh. So maybe you guys get out there. Oh, God. I got, oh, my goodness. Did I ever get a lot of paint? Woo. Well, go ahead. She, I, I need for you to talk because she wants to hear you. We got you up here. You're all funny. She wants she wants to hear you there, sexy Mike. What do you, okay. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want to do for her? Well, maybe I shouldn't say that. Take, it, know, take it to her yeah. channel. Take it to her channel. 
That's all I hear is take it to her table. I, yeah. I, I can see in her future she's going to have a live and have me on there. I think so. <laughs> I, think she, I think she'd have a blast with you, probably. Yeah, all I have to do is go to the store and get me a bottle of chocolate. <laughs> oh, boy. A bottle of chocolate. I, I didn't want to ask about the chocolate. Look, at they're all like little, where are those mines? I can't stop laughing. Where are those little mines? Boy, they're laughing at you, Mike. I might even be turning red a little bit. I oh yeah, yeah. You brought up <laughs> that, that is almost ridiculously funny. You turning red. You brought this up in typing. You come on my channel and then you act like that and say I might be turning red. Oh, now that is funny. Well, that wasn't me <laughs> typing. I'm I'm the shy guy here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. Uh, Miss Southern Bell, he's your man. We, we, I never knew that there was, I was going to start a love connection. I had no idea. I really didn't. I wasn't planning on going there, but I don't know. Yeah. There might be a love connection. We didn't know. See, Miss Southern Bell, you better start typing. You wanted them. You're giggling. You better get on here. You got to type, you got to talk to him. Oh, yeah. She, she's probably got her air conditioner on high and fanning herself right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you ever into yourself tonight? Wow. <laughs> How big is your head? <laughs> I'm afraid to measure oh, don't it. Don't you want to know? Uh, <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you asked the question. I'm I just saying. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. I'm talking about the one on your shoulders. Bad Mike. Oh. Yeah, look at you can hear him. We're not calling. He's not sweet Mike or shy Mike. He is like he's bad Mike. That's I, his name. I'm, I'm being very clean here, and I think you your mind is running in the gutter right do now. Not I think, think that's so. what it is. Oh, oh no! I'm having their head up. I'm changing my own. My phone number's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing my phone. My phone number's hot. Ah, uh, you guys. Oh boy, Tim. I'll give you. You are shy. That's what I'll do. Oh, my internet might lose you guys. I apologize if it does. Um, I'm going to just call this the mic hour. He can, or half hour, because I don't want to be on here for hours. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, so tell me, Miss Southerbell, um, why don't we go down this road? What are you looking for in a man? Does Mike fit the bill? I'm just checking. I, like, like it's, like the, I feel like it's one of those dating game match games, you know? Door number one, and then Mike has to talk, and then you, well, it's only Mike. You get one door, and that's all you get. <laughs> Mike, you got your phone hot? <laughs> They're all, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think Nana is punching my hearing. <laughs> <sighs> Ah uh, well, it's it's all good. It's all good and fun. We're just joking. Whew. Well, don't get Miss Southern Bell all depressed now. Oh no! Oh God! Don't <laughs> you go cheer her up, guy. She wanted you. She's got you. She kept saying, "I want Mike up there. Come on, Mike. Go, Mike. Come on. I want Mike. Mike is up here. Go for it, you guys. It's it's it's." <laughs> It's Mike and Miss Southern Bell's hour, and we'll just sit back and listen. Yeah, but this is a, a, the wrong time. You already have two hours going on. Yeah. Well, you can always start one on your channel or something if you'd like. I know how much you like doing live streams. <laughs> yeah, but I do them. I guess it'd be appropriate because I do mine in private. So it'd just be me and Miss Southern Bell, I guess. Oh, so the truth is coming out. I see. Nana's getting cute listening to Mike. Oh, oh no, yeah, I he haven't started that. He wanted me to start up, so I'm starting up. I'm letting him have what he wants. I am starting up. I have so look at my paint. Look at my hair. Look at I like really got into my work today. Good Lord, yes. <laughs> no, I got a lot. Like, well, the one side, because it's awkward when I, I don't want to run every two seconds to clean everything off. So I just 
I have it to the side to wipe things down, and I only have a very tiny area on this, this squeaky table, so it is what it is. But it was a lot of fun, and I think I could use all this stuff. Excuse me. Not that I want to make everybody yawn. So what is your favorite paper, Mike, on here? Well, I can tell you the least one, but I'm going to have to wait till we get off if I can tell you why. Uh-oh. Is it my kitty cat? Oh, no. What? Oh, oh, the black one? No. Oh, the, well, they're all cute. I don't know which one you don't like. The, but, the, but. the feather one. <gasps> Seriously? You don't like that? That's my, one of my favorite ones. Why, are you being dirty? Are you being bad? That's why? I can't say nothing right now. Mike! This is a pretty Brit stopping. I had a big hunk today. What do you, oh, I laugh. I like Mike's clocks. I had a big hunk today. You had a big hunk? Oh, chocolate? Mike, no. this You don't find this pretty. Never mind. Get your mind out of the gutter and come back to reality. This is not pretty. You're, you you got have it half covered up. There. That, not that one. You said that was a feather yeah. one. Yeah, it's this one. Nope. The nope. middle one. The middle one? This one? <laughs> Mike, yeah. Mike, stop with your imagination. Stop it. Stop. Bad boy. It, that's, that's your, you got a bad, I didn't even think that way. Oh my God. Yes, you do. Nope. I mean, you're talking about all these shows that you're watching and you see these Disney shows and oh my gosh, I see this and that. There it is right there. Uh, I'm, I'm no. Now you're a little fibber because no, I'm keeping it since I've spoken to you. I have kept it quite good. And you, I need, okay. I got to bring you to the light side because you're going to the dark side and I got to bring you back out of that. Wow. I can only tell you one thing. Oh, no. It, it's spring. Oh, love is in the air? Oh, well, actually, it, actually, it is it, no, summer it's now. It's summer now. So is love in the air? Just my, mm, he's still got game. Wow. I don't know what's going on with you two guys, but have you been in private conversations I don't know about, or you need to get one? I'm not sure yet. I haven't figured that out. Okay, I'll, I'll let you know. All it's right. all code. It's all code. Oh, no, not again, code. Oh, my God, I've been watching too much code. I don't want to hear about code. <laughs> oh, my God, there's so much code out there. Uh, Mike, don't, no, no more code. Now I know. No. No. Too much code. Code. They do this this code stuff. Trust me, I, I, on a funny level, Mike means funny, and there's codes being funny, and then there's codes being weird, and there's codes, all kinds of freaking codes. You, you got to know the code, or to get into the, you got to get into the club. You need to know the code, and if you don't know the code, you're not invited in the club. And very strange code stuff. Seriously. Yeah, but but the code starts at the very beginning, and you had to be here long enough to understand how the code started in the one show well, and where it's going and to keep a clean channel you got to keep the code going right well but the code started with you and i think it was kathleen was it you and kathleen no, i think it's a, i think it's a little further back oh it wasn't with me i don't know i don't do codes but you do you and kathleen do codes and i think soto does codes i haven't seen soda for a while but god bless all of them but um yeah. It was then who was the other person that was started with the code? How far back did the code go? Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> oh my god. I, now I feel like the, I feel like there's a court uh, thing going on here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I'm bringing you to court. Oh my god. Uh, it's so ridiculous this code crap. I I I'm serious. Everyone it's like the most weirdest thing and and we're making fun of it, but it is weird. There's like this code crap all over the world, and some of it's really serious code shit. It's too, excuse my language, but it's that's ridiculous. I shouldn't have swore, but forgive me. But uh, yeah, some of it's just insane. Insane. Crazy. Go ahead. Code. 
I said, I'm going to hold on to my code. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Are you sure, Miss Southern Bell, he's the man for you? He likes to hold on to his code. I'm starting to worry. Well, there's one way to find out. Go back and watch your videos. Then when you're watching them, go scroll down and see what my comments are. Are you talking about on here today? Not today, right? Oh, no. Just her, all, all of her videos I've watched. Just... Oh, watch where you're coding with her. <laughs> like <we're... laughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, you and Miss Southern Bell have your own codes. Oh, that's he He's codes everybody. Watch it. Dot, dash, dot, 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 dot. Yeah, Susan. <laughs> code. He's got the code. He's the code man. And so I guess Miss Southern Bell and and Mike's got now a code. He has different codes for different people. Like he had a code for when Kathleen was there and, and other people go code. And now Miss Southern Bell's got a code with him. He's a code guy. I don't know, Mike. I don't know where to put you now. What am I going to do? I'm not lost. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think you're in the wrong direction. I have even paint on here. Oh, but anyway, so you've been busy doing the gardening, right? Well, then I had to have a discussion. It took about a half an hour, and we mowed our lawns, and I helped my brother plant a rose bush, and took a video of a deer, and yes. dodged rainstorms. Oh, Some birds have come back like crazy, so I'm filling two bottles a day. And the mean one disappeared. I don't know what happened to him. The mean one? Oh, a, that's right. The, you had a mean one. The, I don't, yeah, the bronze one. I don't, I don't know what happened to him. Hmm. I'm not seeing too much hummingbirds lately, but then I got to fill up the, I haven't filled the container as up at all. So I don't, I don't, like, I've been only doing half, and then if it runs out, if we don't forget about it, then I don't have to worry about, you know, making them sick or anything, so. Well, I know my I'm brother and my dad, they, they hang theirs right in the sun, which I try not to, so where I have it hung, it's a morning sun, so it's still a cooler part of the day than when it's afternoon on, it's all in the shade, so. And, and it's going so fast now that, like, say, I fill it up all the way and don't worry about it. Just try to make sure it's full by the morning again. Ah. But for quite a while there, they disappeared. They quit coming over because the main bronze one kept chasing them away. And then he started harassing over at my brother's house and I don't know that he knows that they came to my house now. Well, they're pretty clever then. They, yep. wait, they wait till the bully comes. You go ahead, you go over there, and then we're going to take over back to Mike's. Gotcha. I think they're more clever than we think. A lot of a lot of animals, like we think they're stupid, and I I don't think they're more clever than that. I do. And then I have babies that are. I'm pretty sure they're babies just because of the way the way they eat uh, over here now. So that's kind of cute. Oh, they, I bet you the little babies are cute because they are. I've seen them in. in uh, Arizona, and they're freaking adorable. They're so tiny, they're like tiny little fast moving birds. So cute. And and we were talking. I don't. I don't think you were there when I was talking. Was it this morning or something? That I was talking about. Um, and I don't know if it was you or not that told me about a hummingbird moth. And then I started looking them up, and thought it was so cool. They're not cute. I don't find them cute like a hummingbird though. But I did see one at my neighbor's a while back. Right. I thought that well, was I, zebra at first. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I, two things. Susan wants me to slap myself, so I'm not sure why I'm slapping my hand. Um, I must have missed something that I did. And then I thought that was a zebra at first. Oh, this. This painting maybe you're saying, right, Rachel? So you thought the painting was a zebra. And Susan, what did I do wrong to slap myself? Because I thought I should slap Mike. You're probably slapping your head because of the uh, code going on. Dot dash dot dot dash. Oh, that's what you want me to do. 
I was trying to figure it out. That she wanted me to slot my hand like the code, right? That's probably what it is. I was trying to figure out um, the code. Early when Early you when said a bad word. Bad word. <laughs> oh, all right. Yes. There. That one, yes, for sure. But it will slip every so often, Susan. I told you I do to say, but I was trying to look at I, I was trying to come up with a better word than if somebody said and, and Mike normally doesn't swear on here either. And I I'm trying to be really good. But uh, if you said the, the bad word, then you could put love you instead. That's what I got a thing going on with um, my family and they, th they laugh so hard. I said, look, if you're going to go and start swearing, you guys, let's try to change it a little bit. Like we don't need to do it all the time. How about my mom almost died laughing. And I said, so my husband, I said, instead of saying, you know, the F you, I thought you could say love you. And that would be so much sweeter. And then maybe you could actually mean it. No, I'm just, but you know what I mean? And so my mom goes, no, I can't do it. <laughs> she, I, can't, I, can't say it. I said, well, how about, I forget what she came up with a different word, flower or whatever it was. And I said, there you go. See how long that'll last. Instead of you guys swearing, Use something more appropriate and nicer and sweeter. And let's see how that works. Because seriously, I don't swear all the time. I know it sounds like it because I slipped it. But um, I swear, but I'm cleaning up my act. I'm trying my best not to. Because I don't want to be around and say the wrong thing in front of kids and start doing that. So I'm trying to uh, clear up my act. Anyways, yes. But you see, I don't I don't say any dirty words on here because I, I don't swear. And oh I don't understand God. how I can bring dirty words out in people when I'm not saying dirty words. I, I just don't understand it. You're so, so, you know what? You're so full of crap. It's crap a I'm bad so word. I'm so full of, I love you. No, no, that would be, no, that would be if I was going, bop, bop, like, you know, F you, I would go, love you, Mike. But no, crap. Is crap a bad word to say crap? You're full of crap. Is that like, I don't. Is that a nice? I think way that's to say, just a slang word, so I think that's a safe word if you ask me. But so I don't it, plan using it. <laughs> oh no, you you use worse. I've heard you. You just don't do it on my what? channel. Yeah, thank I you. I don't understand what you're. Thank you. I, you thank God that you don't it. do what you do on my channel because they don't know you like I know you. I don't understand what you're talking about. Is this slander? <laughs> And no, because slander would be, I have evidence, I have recordings of you, so no, there's no slander. You here. have to prove that. Just look at her, she's like saying you're a hot tamale. Of course. <laughs> what have you created, Miss Southern Bell? Now his head is getting, don't go there. <laughs> code, stop with the code. I don't want to go, I'm going to keep saying stop it, Mike, I know you're going with the code. I know where you're going with this, and you're using code. Number six. <laughs> <laughs> is, I think. Look at she is like. I think you do. You make Mike. You make her giggle or something. Like that's cute. That's cute that <laughs> that no matter how old you are, you can be giggling. Well, the main thing is putting a smile on somebody's face. Even if you're being a pervert. <laughs> what are you? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. I want to know him like you know him. Code six. I don't know. You can know him more because my codes. <laughs> There, I don't have any code, but it used to drive me crazy. People going code. I want, you know, like, can't you be honest? Just, you know, you can. <laughs> can't you just be honest and say what you think? Code. Um, you know, Mike, you're full of code. <laughs> Stop touching your code, Mike. Behave code. <laughs> Oh well, I got the giggles now. That there you go. You wanted funny, you got funny. I told you I wasn't funny. I'm not kidding. I'm not funny. I try to be funny, but I'm not. But we bring up Mike, and then it's funny. So Mike can can he can be the king of funny, um, and I'm only <laughs> his servant, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm laughing at that. That's something funny. 
<laughs> Mike's the king of comedy, and I'm his sidekick, apparently. Because he, you know what? This is what he does. He will bug me. He, <laughs> he says, you Here need to go, laugh at it. Yes, you do. I, I agree, Miss Southernville. I think that sometimes I've been getting serious, but sometimes it's okay. There's a fine line of sometimes you got to go there, and sometimes when it's too dry, you need humor. I get it. I get it. I'm not. I try to do my best. Uh, Mike is more funny. He gets the privilege of that, but I'm not telling you he's good at everything because really, I don't know, but. <laughs> <laughs> But you're going to travel to Washington no. soon and find out. No, I'm not. I'll send Miss Southern Bell can try you out. She's single. Uh, no, it goes against my ethics. But we'll, we're going to ship Miss Miss Southern Bell and go in a bottle and go, you can tell me what Mike's all about in real life there, Miss Southern Bell. Or even Rachel. Rachel, you want to, you guys can go see Mike. Anybody that's single, Susan, anybody available uh, that wants to know how, how cool Mike is, you know, it's just a short ticket ride to Washington. Here we go with this dating game thing. This is, doesn't sound right. <laughs> it doesn't but sound we can start. We can start a GoFundMe page, I guess. <laughs> I don't. But, uh, yes, I do need to laugh, Miss Southern Bell. But <laughs> Mike would put me to work. He probably would. You'd probably you wanted to pull weeds, Rachel. I'm sure he's got a big spot for you for weeds. I'm sure he'll he got work. He'll put you to work, all right. Oh my goodness! And yes, Miss Southern Mill, you're absolutely right. That's why that's why he he wants she wants you on though. I know it's not just about you. It's about bringing me so I can laugh, and he bugs me so I can laugh, and I get it. I get it. Sometimes I don't want to get it. But I get it. <laughs> ah. All right, poor Tim. Love you too there, Tim. Have a great night. Um, yeah, I wasn't for sure if he was leaving or not saying anything. You guys are awesome. We love all each other. Big love. And I'm going to go love, like, all the good things. And don't let anything get to you. Because um, I'm learning to, no matter how old you are, you have to learn not get th let things get to you. Uh, Don't let sick life be too serious. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. That's a good one. And but it's hard sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you sent me in a path of a direction that was awfully gloomy, and it was hard to pull gloomy out of me. That's all I'm saying, and you know what I mean. So the direction is trying to keep it lighthearted. Being aware is hard sometimes. Hard. Just Mike is my candy man. Oh, that's cute. Who can make the sun rise? Sprinkle it a do. Separate the sorrow and collect up all the cream. The candy man can. That's a new song for you. I'm gonna I wonder if I'm gonna get uh copyrights for singing Mike gets the candy man now, according to Miss Sutter Bell. He is the candy man. That's actually kind of it could be a weird song in some sense. <laughs> like I don't know. I hope it was never brought that way, but I, I, you got me thinking. Code. That's why I was staying low, low key and being the muffin man. Code. Just Mike can. Well, I hope that was never set in that way. I, I would hope not. I would never. I never took it that way. But I, uh, I hope no songs are meant in a different way that, uh, you know, but quite, quite, cute and sweet. I guess what I was saying. I hope so. Yep. Look at me hands. I can't believe. So, next time, maybe you'll, if you want to put your two cents in here, like to how to design one of these would be kind of cool. We went through that before. I haven't talked to you where I'm actually doing it. So, I don't know if I'm going to do it tomorrow night or not. Come back. Uh-oh. What? Nothing. Can't the candy man? Hmm, I don't think dirty. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
I won't even touch that one. I wasn't going there. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I won't touch it. Whew. Well, um, I don't know what else can we talk about. I was, I'm not going to stand too long because I would like to talk to you for a little bit before I get off. And then um, we got Rachel. Uh, one night we'd like to get talking to each other there, if that's okay. Me, you, and Rachel uh, on track. What do you think? That sounds good to me. I like it. I think that people, if they're interested in what we're doing, um, then they're all welcome to join it. I just got to do it slowly by slowly. If people want to get into what we're doing, that's what I'll say. And this, this is PG. Yes. What we're doing. Of course. Now you're making it look like there's more suspicious <laughs> than PG. Well, well, you're saying that she, she might want to see what we're doing. I'm like, oh, my Lord, here we go again. <laughs> that's not how, okay, you're playing on the words again. No. <laughs> Good thing Rachel knows what we're talking about. <laughs> Bad. Oh, you're bad. You are bad to the bones. Funny. I was just trying to. Though. I was just trying to clear up the matter here. All right. I. <laughs> and she's laughing. Yeah, because we were going PG. <laughs> PG. <laughs> PJ. There's no PJ. No PG. Nothing like that. No. Uh, it's not funny. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The matter that we talk about is not funny. So you guys who are funny won't find it funny. Um, it's probably too serious for some of you guys. And that's the path that we are trying to avoid. And no matter what, we make sure that there's at least one foot touching the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause, you know what really made me laugh? I, I still think it's funny that because of me and Mike talking a lot of people assume that we, we have something or, uh, you know, he's married to me or he's my boyfriend. And I went, well, there's not a lot of fun. We live all the way in Washington. I'm in Canada. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> Talk about safe. <laughs> That's really safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What's the matter, buddy? All right. Let me get yeah, the, the real thing is a quarter of the offline she's yelling at me <laughs> the rest of it's the important stuff i'm yelling at you yeah because i was bad or something the oh, or, or I, you, I, I, I disciplined you I, oh! <laughs> I haven't disciplined you for a while when you don't behave i haven't done that for a while but, but i do that's the last time we were on you did <laughs> no i didn't Yes, uh, you did. What 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 was I giving you heck for? Uh, what were you me? talking about on the live that I got called out for it? Oh, that's right, because I took off to another live. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you brought it up, so I'm going to go. This is. Well, here we go again. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were going to pull it out of me. <laughs> you said it. Maybe they need to understand. Maybe they... <laughs> you you brought it up. But I should say, because it, it, it's funny, it, it really is funny now, but at the time, I'm not sure, I thought it was rude, but maybe you guys can, maybe you think this was funny, okay? And it is funny now, if I'll put it in the right way. I'm talking, and maybe I'm being boring to some people around here. So, so I get um, Christian and Mike up on talking to him, and then he suddenly disappears out here. I don't hear any voice from Mike. Okay, Mike, uh, my guy came on. I gotta let you go. My, it's after all, it's my first family, and I gotta let you go. Really, you didn't even say bye. You even said you're gonna meet me after talking. We sound like it's just so funny when I think about it now. It just sounds funny, but the point is, he takes off and says, "Well, my first family's on. That's it. You're. I got somebody else that I know better. I'm leaving. Bye." Oh, really? Okay. No, I didn't say that. I know better. No, you said it was your first family because we're considered yes. we're scum. We're his second family. What? We're like the bottom toad of the barrel. So he left my channel because we were second in line because his first family came on and um, said, that's it. 
He actually he didn't even say goodbye or nothing. He just he typed it. I gotta let you go. I typed it in there. I gotta let you go. Bye. Okay, so didn't I ask you two days ago? You said we're gonna go talk after, and you said, "Well, I can't tonight because I gotta go watch the fireworks." And then you said, "Oh, and then I'll watch the next night." Okay, the only thing I, I got to say this: I, if everyone's looking, I'm showing my my fingers and my hand. If you like this, you got to put a ring on it. <laughs> I don't know what that song is. <laughs> I have no ring on my finger. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, if well, no, but I don't. I don't really. You make it look like the Wicked Witch of the West talking to you. Um, well, you are because you're always yelling at me, and I'm innocent and shy, and it hurts my feelings oh, sometimes. You're so, <laughs> you're so full of crap. Oh my god! Now I know. You, you see what's baloney I have to put up with. If you're on a stream yard, this can make this private. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can get private, but I'm not in a stream yard. I'm I'm um, direct camera there, Miss Southern Bell. All I was saying, I don't scream at him. He's full of crap. But I was going, oh, that's really nice of you to take off. <gasps> oh, my God. Just look at her. Oh, my God, Mike. What size are you? <laughs> we, we've talked about this before. We don't want to go there again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, are you talking about shirt size? <laughs> <laughs> oh, code, you know. <gasps> she might be making you a T-shirt. Uh, and she wants it on your body. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> you want it, though. It's kind of like this. He's got, I want to go there, but I better not. <laughs> she, she can private message me. Yes. Yes, we'll, you, you'll save that in the dark corners, the one on one corner. Dark. We can have the lights on. I don't mind. <laughs> They're ring size. I'm sure it's your ring size. <laughs> no, you're going to buy your ring. You're going to buy your ring and put a ring on them, and then you can, you can tell them whatever to do according to what he's saying. <clears throat> That's the first time I ever seen somebody propose to somebody on my channel. That's interesting. She's like, to uh -uh. Me, you know, your ring size and the, uh uh. What does that mean? Uh uh. Ka Kathleen and I. Oh, oh uh, did oh. someone ask you to get married to marry you too? As I remember, I can't remember. That's been a long time ago. Somebody wanted to marry me, and I, I think if I, I was offered a couple times, and I think I said no, thank you, sorry. It's very sweet the offer, but. I'm already, and I don't do that stuff. So, I what's that called? The bigamist when you marry more than one person at the same time, or whatever it is. There's a certain name for it, but no, I don't go there. But Miss Southern Bell's single, and you're single, and she might put a ring on you. Is that a ring on his finger or a ring through his nose? Now, that would be interesting. I never thought of it this way. I could be getting into a sugar mama. <gasps> a sugar <laughs> That's literally true because she likes sugar. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Just what you guys are so cute. You would. <laughs> yeah, we're, no, we think you're cute, Miss Southern Bell. And he just said you could be his sugar mama. Everybody heard it. We got seven people. You're all witnesses that Mike just said Miss Southern Bell could be his sugar mama. But then again, if you know Miss Southern Bell, she's always eating and having sugar. So that's the point to the chocolate and all the sugar is she could literally be a sugar mama because all the sweet she likes. I mean, she don't eat the whole thing. I already talked to her about it. I said, oh, my God, I could never eat all that stuff that you got going on. But I think it's cool that she tests products. I like it. I like that she does that. But then, um, see, I'm the type of person, if I like something, I'm going to eat the whole thing. She at least has control not to eat it. And I keep on thinking, I visualize this. Okay, let me test this. Then I eat the whole chocolate bar. And let me test this. And I'll eat the whole next thing. So it's not like I'm having a piece like she's doing. I'd probably eat the whole thing. And then, of course, I'm going to be sick. So uh, I couldn't do it. I can't. couldn't well, stop. Well, maybe the Southern Bell is getting tired of actually wasting the food, throwing it in the garbage. Even though I don't think that's actually the garbage. But that's okay. 
I think what it is is she wants to taste it, and then just kind of off camera, she wants to feed me the rest of it. Oh, look at that. She said, but corner her, she says, I'm a lot of people, a sugar mamas. She's a sugar mama, a lot of people. Wow. And and now we know the truth. That somehow yeah. we 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 don't see it, but off camera, Mike is being handed the food that's excess because Mike actually you guys are perfect because you guys have you like sugar. Like you Mike likes desserts. He's always said that since I've known him. And she likes to test sugar out. So I could believe that was happening, really, that you'd be like handing the sugar off if you were there literally. She, could you picture that? I don't know if you want to picture it, but I'm just saying she's doing her filming and Mike's to the side of the chair and, and, and just kind of like you don't hear her voice saying, here, sweetie. And then she hands the leftover dessert to him. Yeah, but you didn't, you weren't watching her video very close, were you? But she got some chocolate on her finger and she supposedly put that in the garbage. Did you see chocolate on her finger when she brought the hand back up? Oh, no, you didn't. Oh. The truth I'm just saying. Up. Yeah, you had a nice friend. She, yeah, I had a YouTube friend. She, she visit and she was very kind. Oh yeah, you guys had a fun time together, Miss Sunnybell. It was adorable. You guys were very fun. Good for you. Did you know her? I thought she was your friend, or you knew her just from online. Is she your friend from online, or did did you know her before? And then she, and then yet yeah, started channel. Maybe. I was curious. <sighs> <sighs> Supposed to be a hot one tomorrow. I only wish. I don't know when when our real summer is going to start around here. What's real summer? Is it supposed to be just nice weather, or is real summer supposed to be like ninety five degrees, like you already had? Well, supposedly around here, the Fourth of July might normally be the last day of rain, and then from then on, it's going to be. It, it could be a little bit cloudy, but it's going to be dry and hot. And when I say hot, I'm talking about between 70 to 85. And so far, I mean, in this early spring before spring hit, I was wearing shorts. That's how hot it was here. And the past, oh, three, maybe four weeks, I've been wearing long pants because it's been just miserable it's cold chilly and 65 degree days and everything else like right now it's 67 degrees of course the sun hadn't gone down yet but we've been having on and off rain so what i'm waiting for is it stop raining so we can enjoy our summer i guess and i i wish it was the opposite for me i wish i it's the temperature's too hot for me 95 degrees to 100 is just not my cup of tea I, like i'm living in the house in the air conditioning because it's too hot and technically I need to go out and pull weeds and if I don't go there right away in the morning or somewhere it's too hot to do anything outside right and that that's the thing everyone's mm -hmm. garden is doing fantastic when they're showing it uh watching some of these videos yeah. and I'm looking at my garden thinking uh it's it's cooler go ahead and grow if you want while you can the only thing I got growing that's halfway decent are my carrots well, because of cool time, I get it. But like I said, there's a two sided coin here. You right. you need the hotter weather, but when it's too hot, you know what my plants are doing? They're like burnt. They're burning. I can't keep them from not burning. It's that bad. Like the rhubarb leaves are burning, not rotting from any kind of bug or insect, but burning. So I'm losing a lot of stuff because of the heat being too hot. <clears throat> like there's a point where like tomatoes and everything likes it hot, but not. 95 and 100 hot right but to me that's too warm too i just stay in the house mm -hmm. i'm kind of like a snake i like it hot but not that hot yeah i, get I it. don't like it cold no you'd probably like it like late 70s 80s right somewhere in there right um what do you say oh she says uh yeah rachel's saying it's really hot for her too uh put umbrella over it Yeah, I'd have to have too many stuff over it. You're talking about my plants. It would be, I'd have to hold, have a shade. We're not used to getting it. I never had to shade my stuff, like where it was burning. Never. In all the years I've ever done gardening, never would it get like California hot. And now it's like California hot. It's weird. Um, well, I just want to ask you when it comes to that, though, are your plants well watered or are 
are they on the drier side? So that's why they're burning up. Because you usually no, they no, can control right. their own yeah. heat if, if they have the, the right amount of moisture. That's what I was wondering. Well, we water them every single day, Mike. Every day. I water them and we wait till the sun's like I won't water them till like six, seven o'clock at night. Like, so we don't water them. It's either going to get watered in the morning, but we do water them once a day, um, every day. I don't skip a day because I know in one day they will. That's how bad it is. That would be a great invention, little umbrellas for a garden. Well, it's a different idea, I guess. They do have like a tarp that goes over top of gardens they use in California. Like it's a big uh, shaded tarp. That they, they can, I think they kind of roll it up and put it over it. Which I don't, I, I'm not going to spend money on that because this doesn't normally happen. This is a very weird uh, year, like the weather for 95. I, we've had hot, but never where with the humidity and everything went to over 100. Never. Yeah, I live in the north, and that, that's the thing. I don't understand where you're getting all this warm weather because I don't have it. You're talking about me because I'm I, Rachel. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, um, well, Canada is north, and somewhere is it's. I kind of think of it's not north; it's northwest or something. To certain places, to you guys, it's not totally north, but um, yeah. But so, and I was hearing things that tomato things aren't going too good for everybody. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, mine are humongous. I think they've hit three inches now. <laughs> You're funny. Mine are big either, though. Mine are, I think, I, if I showed you my, they, like, I think there's a little bit bigger than this size right now. You can see my hands. They're not big. Yeah, but I'm talking about my plant. It's only three inches tall, maybe four pushing it. Now, the ones that Dad planted the same exact time and they're not the big Zach. His are nice looking bushes and everything else. So I don't know. I was eating up. They are so good. Remember you said uh, a thornberry. Well, the thornberry ends up tasting like a raspberry, only a little sharper taste, a little less sweet taste, but bigger. So um, they're delicious. And I think the, the bad point is they have the core that doesn't stand like a raspberry when you pull it off. The inner core comes off of the the plant. They kind of stay in there. I can't. I can't pull them off. Kind of. It's the, and these are the raspberries. No, they're called thorn berries. Oh, okay. But thorn. I know some berries are are made that way where the center won't come out. Yeah, that's. The, and some are just not getting ripe enough. No, this was pretty ripe. It was pretty ripe, okay. and it still didn't come off. It should have went really like purpley. Then you should be able to pull it off because it's like almost right. This was almost overripe, and it still came with the core on it. That was the bad mm. part, but the good part is delicious, and it's a bigger thing than a raspberry is. Like it's maybe not twice the size, but you know it's way bigger than a raspberry. If I showed you a raspberry and I put that one together, it's got to be at least one size and a quarter to a half bigger, just like the blackberries are, like that. Well, my raspberries that I had at the farm, those were humongous. But you had to make sure to keep them watered to, to get the humongous ones. They're they're bigger than a blackberry, the bigger blackberries. Are you saying be careful? This this the earth is moving closer to the sun nowadays. I've seen a tarp that people would put over their garden. Yeah, I know they have one. I don't normally. I don't know if I'd invest one because not this year, anyways. Because I don't see, I don't. Well, first of all, we're already in July. I don't see the value of wait, buying a tarp just for one year. That when I normally don't need a tarp or anything like that. Well, then you got to come up with how much you're going to put in your garden and how much you're going to get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about value of how much the tarp costs and putting it over the top. Is it really right. worth it? Because I'm I might not be gaining that much stuff anyways. No, nah, it's probably not. So that's why I'm not. Later on, though, it's something I talked about getting terps if you have an issue with it. Uh, but and I did. If I had that every day, I'd be buying something. If I want a garden and I'm in California, and you need to get a cart terp because you know what the restrictions and how high the sun is, I'd get a terp. Right. Yeah, I would definitely right. invest in one because I'm doing it every year. Um, 
Yeah. Anyways, guys, um, I want to thank you guys, all of you, for joining me. Thank you so much. It's been uh, – and thank you for me getting Mike up. Thanks. It's fun talking to Mike. Yes, it is, Miss Southern Bell. You are fun, and everybody's fun, and it's been a cool, cool time. You know, you probably see me tomorrow. Um, I'm excited. I'm not promising that butterfly is coming out tomorrow, but um, it is day 11, so – um, and it's looking good, like the way I looked at the chrysalis, it's turning brown, because that's normally what it does. It turns brown color, so it's on its way. Well, I want to say good night to everybody that's here, and make sure to pray for me, because you know I'm going to go in the back and have to get scolded or something pretty quick, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, know, he, you know he's making that up, right? Like, I, I, I know, you know he's just doing that purposely to just get me going. And, and tell what? little lies. Like, Please. I beat him up as soon as yeah, I get off of here. Scared. I'm getting scared. Please pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor God. Leave him out of this. This is not anything to do with it. Good night, sweetie. Sleep well. You too, dear Susan. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Good. Thanks so much for coming. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining me all the time. Whoever can join me when you can. I, I From the bottom of my heart, I love the heart you. See ya. I got to click off. And, of course, I got my kitty cat saying, bye. Um, and I will sleep well, if you can still hear me. Absolutely. I'm trying to get a good sleep tonight. I got to get up in the morning early. So, see you later. <laughs>